Hey guys, it is Quincy with a slightly better web.com here to talk to you about my nasty electric water kettle. Okay guys, so I boil water each morning for my coffee or for my kids' oatmeal, sometimes in the afternoon for tea, and it gets this like white buildup of just like the minerals, and I don't know if you can see it very well on there. It's a lot grosser in person, I can tell you that for sure. And this is actually only like for a few days of use, so the water that was in here is probably pretty gross. Or if I leave the water in there too long, it just builds up. Doesn't matter. It can be fixed, okay? So if you have an electric kettle like this, all you need to clean it is just vinegar and water. If you want to turn off the video, that's fine. That's all you need to know. But if you want to see it done, let me show you. So I'm just going to pour in some water. And I don't really measure. I make sure I'm past the minimum line because, you know, you don't want to avoid the warranty on your water kettle or bust it. And then some vinegar. So I don't, I wouldn't even say it's like 50-50. It's it's just a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Close it up, turn it on, and then you wait for it to heat up. And what is so cool, when this is really, really dirty, it would make an even more impressive video, but I didn't want to let it get that bad. Um, but it just, you can watch it as it's boiling and heating up. The white scaly stuff just comes right off. It is so cool. So if you have a kettle, if you have something to clean, I can't sing the praises enough of plain old vinegar. Vinegar, baking soda, all those natural things. They just work so good. I love my Norwex. Norwex is a company that sells like microfiber towels and things that are embedded with a little bit of silver. So it's antibacterial. Super good too. But seriously, just like head to your local store. This was $3.95 on clearance. On clearance. Um, and it's going to last a long time. This is what I clean my counters with too. I just fill a spray bottle. Actually, I'll grab it and show you. I just bought a bottle at... Walmart or something like that and then I fill it with here we go and then I fill it with water and vinegar and a little bit of essential oils in there hey guys my kids just got home and that's all I do just kind of 50 50 on the vinegar and water for this little bit of oils spray the counter wipe it down it's antibacterial it smells good and it's cheap 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 that's good business. So this is actually like almost looking clean already and it's not even fully heated up yet. It's warm. It's definitely getting warm, but it's not hot. So I'm going to, for the sake of kind of rushing this video a little bit, I'm going to turn it off and dump it. I don't want to let it get too hot because, so once you boil it and it's hot, you need to leave it like rest for a minute so you aren't moving that extremely hot water. So I'm going to pour this out. And then I'll just give it a quick rinse because it stinks like vinegar. Okay, and then I'll bring it back over and show you what it looks like. I wish you guys could just come hang out in my kitchen and I could show you this stuff. So if you can see in there, it looks so much cleaner. It's just wet, of course, from the water, but all the white that was on the bottom is totally off. Super simple. So my quick tip for you is clean your whole entire house with vinegar and water. That's it. That's all. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, go out and do something awesome. See ya.